Welcome back to another update on the LEGO Minecraft PC build. Today I'm going to provide some data and answer a common misconception about builds like this, which is, will the computer overheat? After that, I'll finish up with current updates and future plans for this LEGO build. This is the fourth build I've done using LEGO bricks, and I have accumulated over a thousand hours of gaming, video editing, and just normal use. I've received a few comments suggesting this PC would thermally throttle, overheat, or even melt Lego bricks. And instead of just telling you, no, it won't do it, I'm gonna do a couple stress tests while monitoring system temperatures. I will compare all these results with this exact same setup in three different computer cases I previously tested. Let's start off with the idle temperatures. The Lego PC CPU idles at a cool 27 degrees Celsius and 23 degrees GPU. Comparing to these three computer cases, I would say this is very efficient. As for gaming, let's go with Cyberpunk. The in-game benchmark I'm running pushes thermals well beyond just regular gameplay. The game settings are at 1440p, everything maxed out with ray tracing off. As for PC specs, this is a 2022 build featuring a Ryzen 9 5900X that is water-cooled by a Corsair H100i. GPU is an EVGA 3080. As for system memory, I'm running 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. The CPU hit a peak of 61 degrees Celsius and the GPU 60 degrees. When comparing the same hardware and game settings in these three computer cases, the data clearly shows the LEGO setup thermally competitive. To simulate heavy CPU processing, I run a Cinebench R23 benchmark. This test will push pretty much any CPU to the limit. I'm going to speed through this 10 minute multi-core run while recording temperatures on Hardware Info. The CPU peaked out at 72.9 degrees Celsius, which is significantly lower than all three computer cases during the same run and same hardware. To conclude the thermal testing, the data clearly shows the LEGO PC operating at very conservative temperatures. The reason behind this is due to the fact the computer is basically an open air concept. The CPU being water cooled also plays a significant factor here as well. Airflow to the radiator is not compromised from any obstructing LEGO bricks. In addition, the room temperature was between 21 and 22.6 degrees Celsius during all tests. If you want to see any additional thermal testing, please comment below and I'll see what I can do. Otherwise, let's move on to the LEGO setup. Since the last video, I built an M portal and a nether portal. I mocked up both portals on top of the CPU water block to see how the RGB lights would look behind it. And the results were awesome. But for this build, it didn't fit well there, so I moved the nether portal to this mountain I constructed in the corner. I had just enough room to give it a hint of the nether behind it. The future plan is to add transparent blue plates that will come in the mail soon, add some obsidian around the portal, and have the nether spill out on the top of the mountain. As for the end portal, I'll keep it here in between the TNT block and the Pillager Castle, but I'm thinking about building an above ground stronghold around it. As for the Pillager Castle, I have some details to finish up there, and once I'm complete, I'll come back with a video on the finished setup. Then I'm going to move on to a LEGO Minecraft mock tutorial world. It's been previously requested by a couple different subscribers. If you have any suggestions, I will do my best to build whatever it is you ask. Until then, I appreciate you checking this out, and I'll see you next time.